<sighs> How's it going, guys? I'm Tim. And I'm Dylon. Oh, Dylon, once a day. Keeps the doctor away. So. We have the Vale Brewing Companies. Old Lions, which is a uh, double version of their Young Lions. It is 8.6 ABV, and it is brewed with Simcoe, Motueka, Am mm, and Amarillo. The last time I remember this, it was fantastic. The color, perfecto. Yeah, I've got a nice fluorescent yellowy, coppery, orangey note. Kind of what I like to see. A little bit of sediment. Nothing, nothing really major. No. But there's definitely some sediment. It is like, again, near like two and a half, three weeks old. Yep, yeah, it's gnashed for some to start leaching out at this point. And, um, uh, let's smell it. I get a lot of, the, I get that mode to make a raspberry-esque. Raspberry and lime. Yeah. I get that Simcoe cattiness, but uh -huh. like more grapefruit than anything. Grapefruit. Um, the lime is like a, like a rind, like a citrusy rind. That's probably the lemon rind yeah. note, kind of like of Simcoe coming through. Amarillo, I get that peachy nectarine kind of note. Mm -hmm. Does not smell like an eight point six dipper. No, it does not. <sighs> I like that you can't see the middle either. It's just the edges on the light. Yeah. Let's uh get into the taste. All right. Ooh. Ooh. That's a mel that's a molding of flavors. It's so smooth. Melon. Because yeah. that's what you were gonna say, and it's melon. Yeah. There's a ton of melon in this. It must be the hops interacting. I get that raspberry limey note. So much wicked coming through. Mm -hmm. Then that I, I do get that Simcoe cattiness too on the back end. Like like the like Simcoe is what I refer to as the dank hop. You know, that dank note you get is usually Simcoe, in my experience, or Centennial, but mostly Simcoe. Yeah. That cat piss kind of very, very unaromatic kind of note is in the taste, which I love, but a lot of people don't. There's a very distinct chlorophyllic green, like, it's not quite a piney note, but it's Simcoe. almost pine. I know, it's from the Simcoe, but... It's really, really, really there on mm -hmm. the back of the, like the very back of the swallow. After you swallow, you get this amazing green note, and it's uh, it's it's great. I think the amarillo in this might be aiding to the to create the kind of blend between sweetness versus dank, mm -hmm. and it really works. It does. It does not drink like an eight point six percent. No, it does not. Much like very hazy did not. Oh, very hazy. Now, I love this beer. I loved it the first time I had it. It got hazier. Mm -hmm. Got more mouthfeel. It didn't change, though. <clears throat> it still remains very much the same beer I had originally. This is my first Vale beer ever. When I had it in probably, like, November, December. I don't remember the last time it was brewed before this. But it somewhere around that region of time. It still remains the same. They have niled, or dialed, dialed. <laughs> They've dialed in the haze factor to make it more appealing, which is stupid. But besides <laughs> the point, it does have much more mouthfeel now, which I think kicks it up a notch. Yeah. I don't know whether they added more hops or not, but it's coming through great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. I mean, Vale, in my opinion, overall needs about two, three weeks 